sun. What happened? I have to use my head to block the sun. Okay. Look. Hey, folks. Lester and Jamie here. Now, oh, the sun is bad. It's okay. So if what I we're going like to have to do. Hold on, watch. Look. And we're good. My head just has to be. All of a sudden, I'm going to have the most fabulous halo. It's going to be great. So I need to slide over a little bit towards you then. Now the sun is peeking through on the Facebook phone. Oh, hey, everybody. Lester and Jamie here. And we are very blessed to uh, have you all join us for a Sanctuary Sunday live video. Uh, now, not to worry. We have a lot of dogs gathered around. Trixie's right here in my lap. If you see my hands moving to my lap, it's just Trixie and me. Um, and um, yeah, so that little setup over here we have quite the setup i was happy to be able to show <laughs> facebook what we have to do to accommodate jamie we call it accommodations yeah. and so when i taught school you know because it's very rare that in any classroom you'll have everybody on the same level i'm just gonna say the same level and so because we're not all on the same level we have to accommodate to make sure everyone gets the same amount of instruction and so the way that works for us and what we do now with social media is we have to constantly accommodate to make sure that both platforms or that we're meeting all of the needs of both platforms so we're checking boxes left and right today yes we are y'all we are checking boxes left and right all right i've rambled on for a little bit now what's been going on with you and what do you have here in front oh, of you i was just wasting time while we were getting ready and i i went to the garden and picked some peas and we have both purple peas and green peas and purple peas are just purple holes purple shells and green in the middle and typically i eat these in the garden as i garden i'll show y'all so purple with the really neatest like green interiors um it's like a very satisfying thing to open them up and they are very sweet uh so typically they never make it inside because i'm eating as i'm gardening but today i guess with last night's exceptional rain all of a sudden i have so many peas that i have to pick some or they're gonna they're going to start to dry out and be they're like overgrowing a little bit. And so Jamie actually picked dinner tonight, which is funny. We made yeah. a little short video, a reel about it. Uh, so tonight was Jamie's night to pick dinner and she literally picked dinner, squash, zucchini, peas. And we haven't had those yet. We're going to cook those as soon as we're done here. Yeah. But uh, I'm having her copy my mom's recipe. Now, I'm not sure how you guys do your squash. But last year, I don't know if it was on your birthday or Valentine's Day or when it was, but I cooked for you on the grill. And I took a lot of your veggies from the garden mm -hmm. along with some things that I bought. And I made you a special grilled recipe. Yeah. What was it? Was there for a special occasion or so I think we was just I just a, being nice? I just think we had a, a cook off. Like who could, who could cook a better meal from the garden? Oh, okay. Well, who won? I think you did. Oh, that's I, all I, I cared about used, hearing because, you say. I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. Because I only use <laughs> zucchini and you used onions and zucchini and broccoli and carrots. Like you, you used a lot more. So people thought that you were oh, more successful. But even so, that's not the way my mama taught us how to cook them so what my mama does is takes her zucchini her squash and she'll cut it all up it doesn't matter long ways short ways however and she will put like an entire stick of butter i mean an entire bar of butter and then she'll microwave it you can microwave it and it is delicious it's um of course you'll put some seasoned salt but you cook that squash enough to where it's soft and all that butter flavor. Now, I'm not saying it's healthy. You probably take all the health benefits out of it when you add so much butter. But if it's not the butter going to kill you, something else is, right? I think I'm going to anyway. air fry it tonight and and do it in spears with some seasoning and things like that. Okay. Because we have a, our air fryer also does a grilling function. So I think I will cook it your mama's way too for you. But I think for me. I would like to have it my mama's way to just to remember how good it used to taste. But uh, we also took a handful of stuff from the garden to Mama's. Um, and it was kind of funny because 
Okay. I shouldn't even you say this. You can't say this. I'm going to say it, and I'm probably going to be in trouble. Everyone knows that I love Stephanie. Oh, I love that's that's Buddy and Stephanie, the Demon Homestead. I love Stephanie, love Buddy, but uh, Stephanie was the first to show off the the fruits of her labor. <laughs> she was the first to show off the fruits of her labor. I repeated that. I know I did by taking a her bounty up to mom and dad's house and setting it on their kitchen table where everybody who walks in can see the uh, the arrangement well we couldn't let stephanie outdo us all so we had to take our own fruits of jamie's that labor over true. however the fruits that we took over were double the size so i says you know what stephanie might have been the first one to show off her work but who's going to leave a bigger impression jamie who will leave a bigger impression the first one or the one that really showed. No, what I thought was neat was there's, uh, I think that G and Pop had six different varieties of squash between the two of us. So that oh. was kind of a neat thing to be able to to share variety. Now, I don't know if they're all they're going to cook it the same and give us a report on which one's tasted better. <laughs> um, but, you know. Less Tommy than, says, I'm, Tammy says I'm being childish. That's childish? He's being morrowish. <laughs> the competition thing is like in their blood. It doesn't matter oh, what it's Tammy. about. Um Hey, look, YouTube user. I've never heard that name before. You take the benefit out by microwaving foods. Is that true? I don't know. You mean like the health benefits? Real butter has vitamin A, and it's good for you. All real food is good for you. So I don't really know what you would remove from the microwave because nothing's like escaping. It doesn't like float away, right? I don't understand what benefits. You, you got quiet on me. What happened? I don't know. I was reading a few things because I don't know. Oh, so I don't really know. So if someone can explain that better to me, um, I don't really know exactly what benefits because cooking in an air fryer, you could avoid the buttery stuff, right? Why would you want to cook in an air fryer compared to in a microwave? Is there a bigger? So for me, it's texture. Tell me. I, so you don't I don't want, want it to, it to be, taste rubbery. I don't want it to taste rubbery or mushy. Okay, I, I, see, like, I don't mind the mushy. Yeah, see, I don't like the mush. So oh. for me, I like to, I actually enjoy having a little bit of a crisp still to it, but that's just me. Oh, huh. well, then you know what we can do? Like you said, we'll do it both ways. Yeah. We'll do the microwave version with all the butter, and then we'll do the air fryer, and then we'll taste them both. Yeah. We'll have us a really nice dinner, and uh, we'll let you guys know later how they both came out. And if, in fact, my mama's way might not be the best way, There's but it's still my mama's way, y'all. And I'll defend my mama's way. Okay. Well, you like what you like. There's nothing, there's no wrong way to cook it. In Rebecca fact, says you bake and steam is the best way to keep the stuff in them. So the stuff, that's what I'm looking for. Miss Rebecca, what is the stuff everyone's referring to? What are it we? It has to be the nutrients. Cause I also know but that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The nutrients. So, so sometimes things get broken down or converted to sugars or starches. And, and maybe that's what they're referring to. Because like in an onion doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. But when you cook it and you caramelize it, the chemical compound in it actually makes it add sugar by by cooking it. Everyone's agreeing with you. The vitamins and the nutrients is what you're removing. I just don't know. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell me my mama was wrong all this all these it's years I grew there's up. There's no wrong way to cook <laughs> zucchini or squash. In fact, we're going to do some in the freeze dryer. It's going to be my first oh. thing to freeze dry. Really excited about that. I plan to figure out how to make some chips. I also learned that you can freeze dry it enough to make it a powder and you can add it to to like spaghetti sauce and other things where it, because zucchini and squash don't really have a flavor on their own i am learning so much right now but some stuff i don't want to know i wish i would have not even read the comments because have you ever noticed that sometimes you learn stuff you don't want to learn i learned stuff from the boys last night that i didn't know i needed to learn or wanted to learn <laughs> So, yes, oh. I know. I absolutely know. So what it looks like, and I'm just trying to jump back. And forth. When y'all see our faces moving, our eyes going back and forth, we're not reading a script of something. It looks like we're reading a teleprompter. We're actually reading the comments, but we have two different devices. So we are moving back and forth so we can try to catch everything. And it does sound like my mama was not the only person who made hers with a lot of butter. There's a lot of folks 
on both of the platforms that are talking about the butter and all the butter, margarine and butter. So butter is like the key to life. I'm sorry. It really is. I'm there's I'm just never going to quit butter. I'm not. So, OK, this is this is kind of interesting. Uh, Lisa Lee says she only did it that way because it's all she knew. And that might be true. That might be the way that my mama's mama made it. Maybe. No, P. Pat never made a thing in her life. P. Pat would have done that. But my mama's grandma might have made it that way. She probably didn't make it in the microwave. Let's be real. Mm, but she could have put it on the stovetop with yeah. a lot of butter. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. So, but then again, I don't know much about a lot of stuff when it comes to diet, nutrition, obviously. So now we got Stella who's taking turns with Trixie. Both of them want to take their turn to come by and visit with dad. Yeah. Anywho. Oh. Cat Love says it was so funny, the mewing from the video from yesterday that we learned from the boys. Let's talk about it. And it's not the boys. It's Connor, y'all. It's just Connor. <laughs> Connor. But hold on. Lex knew, knew words about some of the things, too, about, like, we were on the way home, and they were also back up. Lex and Connor and Ellie and Lester and I went to IHOP last night for dinner. So it's a Saturday tradition that we always do that. Uh, we go eat out. And so IHOP is the easiest choice because everybody's happy at IHOP. There's, you can't go wrong. You have your breakfast foods, you have your dinners. So everyone's happy at IHOP. That's a Saturday tradition. Okay. So while we're there, Connor is giving us a full blown education on how to, how to strengthen your jawline, how to, <laughs> no. how to a appeal to the ladies is what and then it was. Appeal to the ladies as well. And then on the way home, Lex and Connor were teaching us all of the words that are like what they mean and how to use them in context and things. And Lester and I just faced forward because if we looked at each other, we would have died in that yeah. moment. So when I taught school now, I haven't taught school in a couple of years, but I was pretty much keen on the new words and, 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 Vocabulary changes with the generations. You guys know that. There's words that we used, rad, punked. Come on, give me some more words that we used. Uh, diss me. Don't diss me. Yeah. Uh, come on. G. Yeah. G. Uh, there's words that we use, y'all, from our generation that the kids have no idea what that means. If I was to say, man, that's rad, or that's bogus, or that's fly. Do you even know that one fly? Yeah, pretty fly. There's yeah, there's different words that we use from our generation. Dude and, and dudette. Dude, dudette. I psych, still say dude. Psych. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yes, yo. And bet. Word. Yes. Amanda says bet. Word. Word. My God. Totally groovy. Oh, these you guys are so good. Yes. Necking. <laughs> oh, that goes, you don't know about that, Jamie. That I goes do know. back to my that goes back to me on Friday when it was a very interesting discussion with um let's just not even talk about what happened. Gnarly. But so yeah. the boys told us about Riz, right? So Lester and I are like, what is Riz? Riz, Riz. Riz is what? And Connor's like, you know, you have Riz. And if you have Riz, then the girls are really gonna like you, and, and then you can have like top riz or like low riz yeah but he called it something else w is like winning oh, riz, yeah. riz or l riz is losing riz yeah so oh my gosh gag me with the spoon yeah all of those time <laughs> dweeb yes <laughs> gnarly that's dope, dope. Which meaning i said a good that thing. one last yeah, night jamie Connor said that goes, one you we, said dope we what? were telling the kids things that we would say back in our days or throughout the generations some of the different words and they had no idea but they speak their own language y'all and far out <laughs> yeah and then um so then they told us riz is is charisma yeah. i'm like why wouldn't you just say charisma and then they're like because it's riz uh, okay no they have their own thing but it was funny because at dinner connor did this thing where he was like here's how you handle it okay he's like he's like you, he goes, you, you take this person you tell him like oh my gosh what is that over there and then he goes and then you gently grab him by the chin right here <laughs> And you pull him in like this. And he did it to Lex. Hold on. Listen. <laughs> just hush it up. She's just messing with me. And it was... Ivy, she's just messing around. It was to die that for. That is the funniest thing Ivy has seen all day. Mm -hmm. Ivy, settle it down. Just. I'm sorry. Just excuse her. 
Okay, go ahead. Anyway, it was hilarious to watch because Connor's like gesture on the way he like moved his hand was so finesse like <laughs> that it reminded us of when Buddy touched G's face during the Gary video. Oh yeah. And like I'm like, do they practice hand things at home? So I'm messaging Steph after we leave IHOP. I'm like, and and I'm sending her the link to the video. Uh, but I also am like, what is going on at your house? And she's like, every day, all day. This is all that they do is talk about these things. Now, so it was Caden, who yeah. is Connor's older brother, who taught him all of these things. And I'm thinking, okay, so Connor's now teaching my son. Yes, Connor's teaching my son all of these That's things. What cousins do though. <laughs> Didn't you do that with your cousins? Like, did you? you yeah, had older cousins, right? But we learned how to wipe dirt on it. That was kind of something that we did. We would fall, hurt ourselves, bleed, and then we would literally. Come here, I'll show you a secret. Let me teach you something. And li literally wipe dirt on it, y'all. You wipe dirt on it. And that was how we did it back in those days. <laughs> I don't remember sharing vocabulary terms. But uh, I do see you have a dog in your in your flower garden, Jamie. It's hard to keep these dogs in Stella! check. Stella, come here, sweetie. Stella's just going to make I her a bed. I have to yell that loud. I'm not yelling at y'all, but I had to yell that loud to get Stella her Stella can't hear a darn thing. She just can't hear anything. Come here, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Don't go in mama's garden. Yeah, poor Stella. She's trying to find a place to lay. A lot of people are still sharing vocabulary words from the generations. And uh, it's crazy. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it and also suck it up buttercup. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of that in my time. Yeah. Get up, you're fine. That was really, are you bleeding? Did you lose an arm? No, we're not going to the hospital. Get back out there. Yeah. That's how it would be. I know. Isn't that funny? Different generations of just how we how we somehow survived all of those things last one groovy I just like groovy that. um talk oh my gosh talk to the hand yes talk to the hand <laughs> i would still say that today if i could if i was faster on my feet i would still say talk to the hand i just never think about stuff until it's too late and i'm like darn i missed my opportunity to say talk to the hand but that's um, funny tell us about your last night with all this rain and your horses oh lord well, you you made a video of it, didn't you? I did, but uh, I'm just tell everybody what happened last night, and then I'll yeah, tell them. We had I'm another really what I would call super storm, um, not anywhere as significant as the one before, but whenever a storm is going to happen, storm the horse has has some PTSD slash anxiety fears and is really spooked during that time, and. She is not just spooked for herself. She's spooked for Rita. So it's not enough to put everybody in the barn and just let everybody be free. She has to be to where she can see that Rita is safe and that Rita is okay for her to feel relaxed. So we put everyone in stalls last night whenever we realized that the what was supposed to be a half inch of rain was going to hang out a little bit more and thunder, lightning, and, you know, kind of, kind of, have a smaller lesser version of what we just went through about 10 days ago yeah. um and that started what 10 o'clock yeah but it was only a total it was a little under three inches yeah but it came down so fast and in such a short period of time so it was pretty intense and that's what set all the horses in all the chaos into motion was just how fast it was coming down but um someone says Tell Bree to put some dirt on her leg. I guess she Poor posted her picture. Bree, oh my gosh. Bree took a hard fall, like a really hard fall. And your dad caught it on video of her actually falling. And she posted a picture of it and sent it. She sent it to Stephanie and I first. And I was like, oh, that's that looks like it hurts because it was, you know, she had an open wound, but it also you could tell that she scraped, that she this this was a significant injury. So she said that. She told us that she went yesterday afternoon to McCoy's and was just thinking, you know, after she cleaned herself up that she'd be fine. But the longer the day went, the worse that it, oh, it really hurt. hurt. Yeah. I feel so bad for her. I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff happening around I'm like, us. Are you okay? <laughs> There's a squeaky toy being squeaked on. That would be Stella again. Now, she can't hear the squeak. Only we can. And then there's also those little green tree frogs that are out in full force because of the rain, I'm sure. And they're all chirping away. All And I can't, you never can find them. You just hear them. And they're so close. So there's a lot going on, my friends. That's why I'm just like, 
but somebody said Bree did a baseball slide. You know what my comment was? That she literally slid into home because she slid underneath her deck in the front. It was so sad. And how weird that my dad would have caught that because my dad also caught my mom falling on the bike. Your dad has gotten really good with the camera and never putting it down. I will say that. I yeah. wonder where he got that from. Right? I mean, come on. Put the camera down and go check on Brianne. Go check on mom. <laughs> you would never put the camera down. Ever you would you would keep you would ask if we were okay and you would hold out on laughing until you knew we were okay uh, but you would never stop filming because you tell me that all the time you're like why would you stop the video yeah that's true <laughs> I used to get so upset with Janie she would always stop recording and she would miss the best parts of the video because I was trying to help don't worry now I won't ever stop recording it'll be fine <laughs> so supposedly Brienne refused to ride from Paul Paul and he was recording her I guess in the rain. Oh, was it wet? Yeah, that's it was why wet. He, that's why he had it on video. Oh. But uh, my dad can make a compilation of all the things he's captured on video, and that'd be the heck of a... I'm sorry. The best one is still whenever he got stuck in that chair. That is my <laughs> favorite Papa moment at all. I laughed until I cried at that moment. That, mm. that one was epic. So a lot of folks are starting to talk about a strange occurrence that happened that I noticed today at the J and L Ranch property. And I'm not going to be able to talk about it, I don't think, because no one believes a word out of my mouth anyway. That's not true. No, it is true. And here's why. I already figured it out. Because it's like the boy who cried wolf syndrome. I had a little bit of fun over the month of Halloween, the month of October, having some fun with Miss Pat and Kenny. Yeah, but it's not it's not April Fools and it's not Halloween. And I've had a little bit of fun during Christmas with Scrooge and the But it's not any of those times. Who are those other people that we created those The Grinch and The Grinch and who are those funny those people that you the Who's. The Who's. We've had some fun and all of a sudden something serious happens. Something serious. Two yeah, something very serious. Seriouses. Two very serious occurrences that may or may not be related and i didn't even relate one to the other hmm. until someone called it out today and so i am i'm very i'm gonna be very cautious in talking about it because no one believes me anyway I'll now talk about it. you can talk about it all you want to because they believe you jamie they just don't believe me so okay which one you want to talk about first you, you, you just talk away and I'll just nod my head because All right, so they, they don't believe about, a word out of my mouth. Let's talk about the circle first. Okay. So Lester was out at JNL today. I was here actually cooking a fabulous lunch, by the way. And I wasn't just being a bum. So at that point in time, Lester comes home and goes, I did a live and I know you haven't watched it. What? No, Linda K562. In all caps, I always believed in you, Lester. Thank you, Miss Linda. Thank you. So Lester's out there making a live and walks up to the hay field talking about Mr. Ed was there, told us about the quality of hay that we have and how many bales would come out of it and just talking about what, you know, next steps are and that type of thing. And while he was there, all of a sudden he realizes that there is a, I don't know if it's a perfect circle because we haven't taken it a drone up, but it sure looks like a circle in the middle of the hayfield and it's alarming to us because we don't even drive anything in that hayfield for because we don't want to knock any hay down yeah and we don't want to knock the hay down to think today about what could have caused that of course a lot of people say a deer bed and but it doesn't make sense for it to be so symmetrical yeah at so that point. so hold on you're telling me that an entire herd of deer all come up together then they all start walking themselves into a uh, counterclockwise well, motion. Just then say, they all lay that, down. But so what I was going to say is, it's not they, just smashed down where where they laid. It actually is like laid down and and laid folded over in a counterclockwise counterclockwise motion. Now. Could if there was a tornado that was out there, it wouldn't have just like did it right there and zero damage or zero signs of any wind. There was at no all. tornado out there. I'm just saying, like, what else would spin in that motion to be able to to truly knock over the grass? I don't know, but it was only a section. It was not 
like a tornado would have gone across the entire field. So I know it's nothing. That's what like I'm saying. That. Like it does, it doesn't make sense. So for anybody that doesn't believe Lester, I'm here. I like I will. I haven't seen it in person. I saw it through the video that you all saw, and I heard him talk about it. And when he came home to tell me what had happened, there was sincere concern, and he's not making that up. He's not making that up. All right, now talk about the clothes that we found because that's something else. Oh, Lester, you, you Lester, Lester, Lester. Go All ahead. Right. So the next piece is that, okay, if that was Friday. I don't remember what day it was. I don't think it was Friday because we got, does it matter? Anyway, I know a it was few the, days ago. It was on the 14th of april when i found a shoe yes. it all started on the 14th of april it was a few days after the big rain so i attribute it to it had washed up and i never asked him like where it was or or if it was chewed up or if it was destroyed I, I i honestly i just blew it off as it was just a shoe there's a there's woods there's other things next door we have a dog obviously the other dogs had been there I just, I just blew it off. But then a few days ago, he's out there making a nut. You were alive again, correct? Yes and no. The first video when I found the first shoe, I was live. That's why I knew it was on the okay. 14th because it was a live video where me and the audience, whoever was watching, I think it was on Facebook, found a shoe in the middle of the pasture. And so that was a live video. Yesterday... Or day before yesterday, when we found the clothes, we were not live, okay. but I went live and talked about yeah. it. Yeah. So where he found those, though, was not in the same vicinity as the other shoe. But it was a matching shoe for but the it other is foot. A matching. Yes. And he found a pair of men's pants, size 30, 32. And the shoes are a size 13. A size 13. And a rubber, a latex glove. One latex glove in the same vicinity as the pants and second shoe. And my, my little radar of, of senses are in a very alert way saying that this is probably foul play ish. I don't think this was just somebody going for a little dip. I don't think that it was somebody who just accidentally left their clothes there after they went for a dip because it's one thing to leave behind one article of clothing, but, not shoes. Not shoes. And then to think back to the previous time when the car was parked there for a long time and how strange that circumstance was, I just feel like, number one, somebody trespassed. <laughs> Hold on. Someone just says when aliens probe, they don't use latex gloves. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think that aliens. Y'all, we're at being Walmart serious either. here. We're being serious here. Aliens don't probe using latex gloves, Jamie. Just know that. <laughs> Who in the world said They were that? really big shoes. <laughs> they were a skinny man's pants. They all were Walmart <laughs> oh brand. Gosh. So they were Wrangler pants. Hi, sweetie. And they you were Avia shoes. And, uh, you know, our cameras don't reach that far to capture that type of mute, that type of movement. And so, and, 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 I don't drive to the pond every single day, friends. Most days I don't drive to the pond. Uh, it's in a, it's in that front pasture. And when I do take the girls over, we'll always go to the pond, but I haven't taken the girls over in a while. So to tell you exactly how long those things have been there, I can't tell you, but here's what I'm guessing. They were there on the 14th yeah, because that's where I'm guessing at some point, both shoes and the pair of pants were at. And at somehow one of the shoes made its way across the pasture. That to me is something that was probably done by one of the dogs. And Either then, Sadie don't or, forget that I found two pieces of a $20 bill out there as well. A torn, uh, we still have that too. We yeah. found pieces of a $20 bill. We had the, can, the container was wide open and it can't blow open. Right. Now we had a gate that was wide open that we've debated back and forth. Could the cows have pushed that open? Maybe. But so for everyone who says about the amount of cameras, we feel like we have cameras in every position we need to, to capture anyone coming in or out. Yeah. 
but my friends, there's no way possible to monitor the entirety of the 50 acre fence line from every angle. You just can't do that. So, I don't know. So, unfortunately, it rained last night, and that probably would have messed up any other footprints that were still there or things like that. And it rained pretty significantly, and it's pretty sloppy over there. Um, I just had, like, m my my senses are, are on alert, and suspicions are way up. And I do think, and, and I know that other people think so too, I do think that we need to, to report it. And if nothing else, just just in case something else happens. So my only problem with reporting it is I'm, I'm going to become that guy. I'm going to become that guy because I've had to report other things, guys. Don't have. forget that I'm the new guy and I've been reporting all kinds of stuff. So I'm that guy. And we've had to report the car that was there. We had to report the cow, little Gary. And so Lester, this new guy, Lester, is making all these but Phone I still calls. think it's the right thing to do because if there's a missing person and that's what they were wearing or if they're, you know what I mean? Or if they, if there's somebody that has, I don't know, it, like they're on the hunt for and that's part of the, the clues. Like I just would feel horrible knowing that we had the keys to that solve or at least to part of their path or whatever. And we just, we just held on to it here. So I don't think it'll hurt to call me like, Hey, we don't want any like big thing about this, but we just need to tell you that something strange happened here and we know we're by the rest area. And if you want me to call, I'm happy to be the one to call. So it's not you this time. Yeah. Um, and then if you call 911 to report a non-emergency, then you're, then you're wasting no, a resource. I'm not calling. And then if you call, even if you call a regular police officer to send someone out, you're also wasting a resource. But I understand what you're saying to make the report in case there is. Well, just think about it. If you're, and I'm taking this from all angles, not even a criminal space. Let's say that one of our kids was missing and the description was those shoes and those pants were part of what they were wearing. And we've been looking for, I don't know how long. And okay. somebody found them and never said a word. And all we've been doing is trying to find anything. And you realize how big that the world really is. So like, I would feel devastated to know that we had the key to somebody's so somebody solve. Okay, so fine. So we make a phone call, non-emergency yeah. phone call about the clothing. Do we also report the container? Yes. D do we report the yes the twenty dollar bill? Yes. Uh, do we report the crop circle? Because now they're going to think that we're we're loopy, we're cuckoos. They're going to call us cuckoos. I don't know that you. They're going to the call us all. You cuckoos. can say that in there and be like, and here's the weirdest. Here's the most recent weird thing, and it's probably not related. And, and I don't know what to say about it. But what if somebody's just messing with us? What if somebody knows that we we do social media and somebody's just planting these things to So I did see about the crop circles how now there's a lot of crop circles that are unexplained but they did find some British men some some men from the UK Jamie were going around doing crop circles mm -hmm. and they had been doing this hoax for years and years and years very sophisticated what they would do you want to hear about this? They would take like pieces of, let's just say a piece of wood and they would tie strings to it as handles. And then they would take, you know how you have like snowshoes yeah. and together these men would walk side by side, flattening out the wheat or knocking mm -hmm. over the corn. And they would make elaborate crop circles in these pastures all across the UK. And then at some point when the men got older, one of them got sick. And I guess before he passed, he wanted everyone to know oh. his secret or their secret. So he let it all out. He reported it. And so then since then they're like, oh, oh, all of these alien hunters who always were like doing all these things, all the money and time that was spent on investigating these crop circles all come to find out that at least a lot of these that were going around the UK were all made by these two guys who just had too much time on their hands. I don't feel like that's what's going on here because also, well, to say someone did that would be a lot of work, but they didn't show up anywhere on the, and that would, that part would have caught someone on camera. If they came up. Yeah. Well, I don't want to give away like all of our camera locations, but well, like I said, anyone that comes on or off the property the right way 
is going to be seen in one of the many cameras. But. It's just a, I don't know. For me, I just think it, we need to report it. I'll report it. Um, and so then the, there are, because of the combination of stuff. You know, there are a lot of comments here saying report everything else, but don't mention the crop circle. I'm going to throw it in How? at the end and be like, and here's this weird See, thing. See, they're going to call us cookies. I'm not going to call, call it a crop cookies. circle. I'm going to say that that this part of, of the hayfield was was spread out and laid down. It ain't going nowhere. I'm going to show them. I'll walk them over and show them the hayfield. It is what it is. I just think that that it, it we would be remiss if we did not report it. Well, anyway. plus, what if there's a like? What if there's a body in the bottom of the pond? Because that pond is deep. That would be horrible. But but all of these things are like in my head because those shoes are tied. Yeah, they were they were literally the way you would kick your shoes off if you didn't take time to untie them. And the glove thing is like, what if somebody dropped a body? If somebody what dropped a body? They had they, they, so you, they would have had to have undressed the body. Let's undress this body, and we'll leave all the clothing here. Don't think that that doesn't happen. I don't know. I I feel like this live is going in a spooky area, spooky because we don't really know exactly what to do. And then when you start reading over here, a lot of people saying drag the pond or bodies will float between so many and so many days. That just sounds kind of scary to me. Well, yeah, it's scary. But send Lester to the pond to check. I'm not going in that pond. I've if you want my real thing is like, I don't think that the okay, this is where it's this is where my really sick true crime comes out. I don't think that the body would be right there. I think that whatever happened. The evidence is there, but the body is not going to be right there. The body would be elsewhere. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to, and it's not often where I say I don't know, but I just don't know what to think. And I don't want to think that someone's playing gags, you know, tricking us. But I, I'll just go back to that same comment that I remember reading about aliens would never use a latex glove to probe i don't know what aliens i don't would think use. it's aliens i aliens don't shop at walmart okay wait so the walmart is coming from the clothing items yeah well jamie of course aliens don't wear clothes anyway but if they had if they did you not see the lady on the plane who swears that she saw an alien sitting next to her what scares me he the wore most, a hoodie, for the what, record. what scares me the most of ev everything is that think about something here for a minute. This is terrifying because anytime you watch videos on crop circles, alien ab abductions, and all that kind of related stuff. Oh boy. Oh no, I made balloons happen. fly up. What is usually associated with all that stuff? some kind of animal mutilation mm. don't want to talk about this anymore and that's why so let's just move on and change the subjects uh chili cook off yes i am going to be cooking chili on friday oh you gonna be here friday will you be available to be a part of the chili tasting because we have been gifted chili from all over the country and the world. I had no idea people in other countries knew what chili was. Had no idea. And really? so chili. But why? what makes you think that they wouldn't have chili? I thought it was a Texas, New Mexico kind of thing. Oh. And so to find out that other countries and obviously other states have their own versions of chili has intrigued us. Do you want me to us. make my chili to compete with this as well? Well, we're going to all do chili out of a can. We're oh. doing cans of chili. Oh. And so I'm going to take matching bowls where they all match and open up the different cans of chili and cook them in the microwave. That's okay. I'm going to use the microwave. Microwaving the chili bowls. And then without my looking. huh? My poor microwave. So I will label the bottom of the bowls so we'll know which chili is which, but I won't be able to read it once the chili's cooking. And so then we'll get them out. We'll taste all, all of the chilies. 
and then we'll decide which is our favorite. I do believe I'll be able to pick out my favorite brand of chili without even in a blind taste test. But they have chili in Canada too? Yes. Canada? They're cold up there. They need chili in their systems to warm their souls. Hold on. Some chili has spaghetti. Yeah. Chili. There's yeah. chili mac. Chili I've, mac. I've tasted chili mac. But was it with macaroni noodles or spaghetti noodles? It was macaroni noodles. Oh, no. I don't like that. Spaghetti noodles? Uh, yes. With Parmesan and with some saltines on top. That's how you get it at Steak and Shake. Okay. So everyone's saying homemade chili is the best. Guys, we know that. We know that. There's no question about homemade. Can I blindfold is the you best. when you do this? Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. But don't put something weird in my mouth. Like don't stick no rebar or rhubarb, whatever you call it. No, I'm not scared of peas. Uh -oh. But if my mind is set on tasting for chili taste, I want to taste chili. Okay. Don't sneak in something I would silly. never put anything in your mouth that you weren't prepared for. Okay. And then someone says, question, beans or no beans? I don't guess it matters because all these chilies that we're getting are different. Some have beans and some don't have beans. You so, love beans, though. Uh, I like beans, but I also like chili with no beans. It doesn't really matter. But I'm good with chili or chili I, I need beans. beans in my chili. And then someone says, do you have turkey chili? Turkey chili? Yeah. What about white chili? Like white, Hold on. White chicken chili. Oh, I love white chili. White chicken chili? Oh, my okay. God. It's so good. Oh, no. I, guys, I have no idea. This is nothing that I'm familiar with. Sorry. But uh, I will I will make up. So far, we have about seven or eight cans. I don't know exactly. There's one right here in front of me we just got. Um, but we will have our chili cook off. And uh, any what's wrong, Jamie? Anyone who wants to send a can of chili, if you want to send one, by all means, but uh, do it before Friday because I want to do this for my Friday live. I think it'll be fun. The fact that you called rhubarb rebar. <laughs> People are laughing. I called it rebar accidentally. <laughs> Guys, the slip of the tongue. I'm, I don't care. It was funny. Man. I let it go and the people started calling it out. It made me giggle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I called it rebar. <laughs> But I'm over here looking at it, and it looks like he's terrified that he's gonna have to try that someday. Like that, she is, wanted to cook. What I on tonight? I was like, you know what? I I want to make a rhubarb pie no. for the week, and he's like, no, because you're gonna make me try it. She, I'm like, she I'm she not me, gonna make you try I it. I was so afraid you're gonna make me taste it on a video on a live, and I don't want that. I ain't letting you try any. I'm gonna take it over to Morrow Hill and let them try it. So someone says about Wendy's chili. You know oh, about I, Wendy's I chili. Love Jamie Wendy's loves chili. Wendy's chili. We actually stop there. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. My favorite chili that isn't my own is that is like commercial and you can go eat it. Uh, oh my gosh. The buffet. Not old, it used to, not old country buffet. What's the buffet? Uh, the, what do you mean buffet? The, you mean? the buffet that we went to down in Umble that we took the boys to right after COVID. Oh, uh, oh, Golden, Golden Corral. Corral. Golden Thank Corral. God, we haven't been there in years. Yeah. But Golden Corral. How can we ever go there? I don't know because I we're love always Golden at IHOP. Uh, yeah, we're always, yeah, that's true. We're always Golden at Golden Corral chili is so close to my homemade chili. So close. And it is fabulous. And now you're going to have to take me to Golden Corral this week. Sorry. Yeah. So my mom. Thank you, Rebecca. My mom. Words. My mama used to make homemade chili. But at some point, my mom and dad went to this phase. All right. It was a phase. I don't think they still do it, but I don't know if it was mom or dad, but someone had read about all the health benefits of garlic and onions. And so for at some point, there was a phase of probably 10 years where I had to stop eating at mom's so much because everything that they would make had so many onions. Like, I don't mean like finely chopped up just when you get the taste. I mean like slabs of onion and garlic and which it's great they're healthy for you maybe it adds a little bit of flavor or whatever and i know you're growing onions and i'm excited about and there's foods that we eat onions in but when we have onions, onions in everything i cook but we chop them up where you don't really <laughs> what's wrong a, somebody's gonna screenshot that please don't screenshot that y'all oh my god why did i do that well, <laughs> No, but somebody is definitely going to screw If you would not have told them, they would have never thought about it, Jamie. They would have never thought There's about no that. There's no way that they weren't thinking about it. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. That was hilarious. So, no, I think that we have some Cincinnati Skyline Chili, which is supposedly a very popular mm -hmm. chili. I went to I went there to eat chili because somebody Oh, it's said, a location? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Skyline. Okay. Oh, Lordy. I am just so nervous now about that darn screenshot that there's a lot of people who don't like Golden Corral. We have we have a really decent Golden Corral. I love their salad bar and their chili. And you love their shrimp. And what else do you love from there? So shrimp is my favorite, but uh, they also have a great potato bar. Mm, they do have a good potato bar. So you can get your baked potato and with a lot of butter, <laughs> sour cream. They have the little bacon bits. They do it, man. You can make it your I bet the boys potato. have forgot about that place. We should remind them. And then my favorite thing from there, and don't be upset about this, but they may they make a roast. They do. That might compare to the roast that you make. They do. They do have an amazing roast. They they have so my roast always has a brothy thing to it. Theirs has way more of a gravy. Gravy. It's a gravy because it. mm -hmm. I put it on potatoes. Yeah. Or rice. Oh. Yeah. Jamie, if we didn't already have plans to go pick. <laughs> eat out of our garden i'd be saying what time do they close there's, tonight there's no way we would make it there's <laughs> it's way too far uh oh mary vickery this is cute i had the worst <laughs> date of my life at the golden corral jamie let's hear the no, mary i would love to hear that story if you want to put it here if you can that would be so fun to read that i don't know if i'll be able to catch it or not but uh, let's hear about the worst date of your life do you remember the worst date of your life uh, yeah, we went to, I met, I met him at Applebee's. Yeah, Applebee's. And he was very concerned about how you're not we going to share the guy's name. His name was Craig. Craig. Yeah. And it was a one, one and done scenario. And we went to Applebee's and we sat across from each other, which is fine. Um, and he was so concerned about how we were paying, which is also fine. Like I was like, no worries. When, what year was this? Because that would have to have been recent Jeez. when, when a guy would actually be concerned about you paying or mm -hmm. asking if you're going to pay, or are we going to split this or, or it was before Xander was born or what's scary about that is I don't think that he had enough money to, to cover the date is what I anticipated. So I wasn't about that or anything, you know, and I was like, no problem. I have, I, I'll buy dinner. It's no big deal. Well, once we found out that I was buying dinner, it went from like, I had ordered, oh, no. I ordered an appetizer as my meal. That guy ordered an appetizer, a meal and dessert and drinks oh, and no. like, uh, okay. And then he wanted to go to a movie after that. Well, movies at that point in time were probably like, I don't know, $4, uh, you know, $4 a ticket. So nothing like crazy like it is today or whatever. And we got there and he like walked up and ordered and then looked at me like I was ready to pay too. And again, it's not about that, but he invited me to the I, date. I, and think picked, it, I think that's a jerk move. And, I like, think that's a jerk. The, he picked the way we were going to eat. He invited me to the date and then just like looked to me for pay for everything. Yeah, and that would be a bad The worst date. part was he smelled like onions and I love onions. <laughs> and he smelled like onions. Not you didn't want to just way. eat him up, did you? you didn't no, eat him it wasn't up. in a good way. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then the whole conversation was like nothingness at dinner. It was like whatever sports were on at Applebee's. And like, it was just one of those moments where I was like, I was so ready to be done. And like, there's a, um, the neighbor's kids just pulled up. Uh, he, he's a young man and he drives a very loud vehicle. That's what you hear in our background. Um, what about your worst day? Well, so. I mean, the I, I would I want to talk about a similar date that I had to yours, but I, I want to first of all make sure that everyone knows here that I that I have a personal opinion about everything, and my opinion is not the law. Everyone knows that my opinion is just my opinion. I hope that you'll still accept me despite the a differing opinion, but I just think that any guy that expects you to drive on drive if a guy expects you to pick him up and he wants to recline back and ride that strikes me as a little that strikes me as i have i lose all respect for a man that ex, that does that plops his butt in a passenger seat of a woman's vehicle and just reclines that seat back and wants to be chauffeured around did he make you do that too? No. We, oh. met, we met at the restaurant and then we we walked across the street to the movie theater. And then if he 
asked you out, it, it would have been easy enough to say, hey, could we just watch a movie at home? Yes. Or could we? That's what, if, that's what I and, felt. And he could have very easily said, I don't, I don't, I want to take you out. I like you. you. You interest me, but I just don't get paid until next week. Listen, it could have been, the date could have been, let's go for a walk around the park. I'm not that person to be like, I'm not going unless you're paying for my meal. Nothing like that. Yeah. It just, it's about time together and getting to know each other. I, I didn't even have to eat. Like, that's the thing. It was just one of those things where like he invited. And then before, before we ordered, it was so much like, Hey, you know, like, how are we going to take care of this? I just like to call it out. And I was like, Oh, no problem. I got it. Well then number two, I'm thinking that oh, now this once again, ladies, if this offends you, or if you're a man watching and this offends you, that's just, that's just my opinion. I'm just, a, just me. But, uh, I if I think that if he had no interest like in pursuing this or this going further, then by all means, I don't want to spend even a dime because I don't even want to spend my time on this date. It's really a it, but since I'm already here, at least maybe I can get her to pay for it. So that's my thing about that. Maybe he knew early on that nah, this is not really what I'm looking for. I knew him from high school. I knew him from where I lived. And he was the one who reached out to me. I worked at a chiropractor's office and, and he was working on something next door and I was walking in my car and he's like, Hey, I haven't seen you in so long. You want to go grab dinner? And I was like, sure. Sounds good. When? And it was like, how about Friday? Sounds good. It was like a whole coordination of things. Uh, Miss Nichols says, Lester, please check your email with a laughy face. I wonder why. Well, I'm not doing it right now. That's for darn sure. But uh, I can't do it because I'm actually recording on my phone, on the Facebook phone. Carmen but how said, much you want to bet that's going to be a thumbnail? I mean, <laughs> doing one of those dumb things. Anyway, I so I won't talk about my worst date, but I'll talk about one that was very similar to yours experience. No, come on, the worst date. Well, you got me. You got me thinking. You reminded me of this over here. So I've I, I'm not embarrassed to admit that. I have lived most of my adult life paycheck to paycheck. Okay. That's just the way it was. And you would save and save and save and buy something that you needed. You know, it'd be it, something that you needed for around the house or something for your kiddos. And so money was scarce. Okay. Money was very scarce. But between my marriages, I was, I went about seven years between marriages where I did, I dated, and it was always nice to know that when I could take a girl on a date that was not going to cost me an arm and a leg because I didn't have that kind of money. And then I'm really embarrassed about this, but I had a credit card that had a $300 limit. That's, that's how no one trusted me. The banks didn't trust me, y'all. The banks didn't trust me with more. They gave me a $300 credit limit. And that right there was my savings plan. Yes, that's how bad that was it was. Just in case. I've lived that. That credit card, it stayed hidden in my wallet. And that was my just-in-case emergency money. And I only had $300 total of just-in-case. So I had met this girl. I can't even tell you where I met her. I, that's how horrible of a memory I have. I had met this girl, and I had offered to take her out. What I was probably hoping to do was just her offer to netflix or whatever just netflix and be fine and that would be nice and cheap but no she wanted to go out go out and so already in my mind i'm kind of like oh boy you know hope this hope i can afford this and so she wanted to go to man i forgot the name of it but it's a brazilian cafe it's a brazilian cafe meaning they will bring you it's a buffet it's a brazilian buffet well, they will bring you all kinds of delicious food, meats. You can go back and forth to their, um, like the side order bar. But when we got there, she ordered wine. And I'm thinking, oh, man, I was like, like taking a deep swallow. Could not even enjoy my meal because I was so scared. Uh, and I'm thinking, does she think that I'm someone that I'm not? And so I was panicked. And so I did end up having to use my emergency credit card to pay for dinner. 
because she had to have her glasses of wine. And I've never been on a date that was so expensive. Um, and I will say that even though the food was good, I couldn't even enjoy it because I was so terrified of yeah. what it was going to cost. And then this over here, what does this over here tell you? On the menu, it doesn't even tell you the price. Mm. They just assume that if you're here, you have enough money to afford this place. So it was and I did not. the whole time. And I'll tell you one more embarrassing thing about it. You want to hear the most embarrassing thing? Bear with me. I'm going to embarrass myself by showing you all this. But there was a high school phase that the high school kids were doing. And I wanted to be young and hip and cool. So I did this on my date. And she made me. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I did. Jamie, I'm going to need your help for this. I have to put my foot up here somehow we're going to lower this down you will have to bear with me okay I, we should take our pants please tell me if you know this fad please if you know this fad please tell me you would take your pants yeah. and roll them up twice yeah not quite so tight as what i'm doing right now roughly 1992. <laughs> so you would do this to both of your pant legs i don't know why we did it jamie tell me why we did it you did it too I was in grade school <laughs> and my babysitter okay. taught me how. Okay, guys, I don't know why the high school kids were doing this, but I thought if my students are doing it and they all look pretty cool, I'll just do it too. So I have my pants rolled up, my jeans, and I picked her up and I, I noticed that she looked me up and down and she noticed that she like stayed focused on the bottom of my pants, my jeans. And I'm thinking she must think that I'm pretty cool, that I'm hip, that I know the style. Look at all the people that, yes, they know them, Jamie. They know the style. Pegging. Pegging your pants. Pegging? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> all of you pervs need to take it back. Uh, I only did that when I was riding my bike, says Lisa. Um, anyway, guys, I don't know why, but it was a fad. <clears throat> and I just thought, well, if all the high school kids are doing it and they all seem to be pretty cool, then I'll do it. So many of y'all know about this, y'all. So many of y'all know about this. And so when we got to the restaurant, I guess that she was in her mind trying to think of a way to tell me to take it out. She was kind of, she finally says, hey, she goes, why don't you fix the bottom of your pants? And I'm like, I just roll them up a couple of times, whatever. And she goes, I know she goes, but they don't, that doesn't fit you. I forgot how she even said it, but it made me feel so self-conscious that now I had to take and undo my pants that I thought was cool to go into this restaurant because they don't, they, that's, they don't serve people like that or whatever. I don't know what she was thinking or what I was doing. But bottom line is it's that's horrible. It was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible experience. Someone says Fonzie did that. Fonzie, the Fonz. Well, so way back in the day, it was called pegging. And the reason you did it was so that when you pedaled your bikes, your pants didn't get caught really? in our time. Really? My, in that time, probably it was called tight roll. Tight roll. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, but you said it was around the 92 or 19. You're kidding with 1992. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you have to be because I know that things come around fast. Maybe come it back came around. back, but, but when I did it, it was around 1992. How much was that bill, Lester? I don't know, but it was more than what I had in my wallet. It had, it required my savings credit card. <laughs> That's all I remember. But and we've then, all had a savings credit card. And and mine was a prepaid credit card to be able to to try to build my credit. I don't think I could pay it back. If I'm not mistaken, I think I ended up losing my credit that year Aww. because of that lady. I think I lost my credit that year because of that darn lady. So what does that tell you? Wow. Anyway, I don't even know where that whole thing come from. We are over our hour. I figured we were getting close because it's getting dark. The sunset is really beautiful behind us. Well, we would love to hear about your worst dates. 
you want to do a question of the day. I think that'll be tomorrow's question that. of the day is tell so, me about your worst so date. Don't do it here, yeah, friends. Don't, do it, don't here. do it here because we're about to cut the live off. And so your comment's going to be lost forever. Yeah, but tomorrow's question of the day, we'll ask it together. So it's called the tight roll, Jamie. It's called a tight yeah. roll. So see, I don't just make up stuff, y'all. I'm sorry. I can't get pegging out of my mind. That's the funniest term for that ever. I'm not even going to acknowledge you or the people that are laughing about that. It really that. is called that, though. Well, that's great. <clears throat> we want to thank y'all for joining us. It doesn't matter if you're joining us on the Up and Down platform, where you only get to see us nice and tight and skinny, or if you're enjoying the wide view with all the scenery. We love hey, you. Hey, look, I wore my Longhorn Luster shirt today. Did you know? I did not. That's the cool style, too, yeah, with the, uh, the light colors. Yeah. That looks great on Best you. That's rose gold. That's those are that's amazing, but um, yeah. So thank you all for joining us on the live yeah. and uh, allowing us into your peg leg Lester is what Vivian's calling me. Peg leg Lester, way to go! Thank God that if wasn't <laughs> that wasn't the first name someone gave you because we could not call this peg peg leg Longhorns instead of Longhorn Lesters. <laughs> that would be so bad. Thank God. Peg leg Lester. Anyway, thank you all. We appreciate you. We're blessed to have you. Thanks for giving us the greatest gift of all, which is your time, allowing us into your homes and phones and putting up with us through all the things that are going on. There's some really great videos coming out this week. I'm sorry. All, all I can think about is my chili cook off Friday, but we hope it's going to be a will. good day. <laughs> it will be. Y'all stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you on the next video. Good night, guys. You need me to help you? Yep, you you're on Facebook. Duty. I'll do Facebook duty. Bye, okay. You too.